transient neonatal pustular melanosis. It is a common vesicular pustular rash that is seen in newborns. Unlike many other newborn rashes, it is almost always present at birth. It presents with small superficial vesicles, pustules, and macules. Unlike with erythema toxicum neonatorum, significant underlying erythema is not present. The vesicles and pustules are very superficial, fragile, and easily rupture. They rupture within two days, leaving behind a small hyperpigmented macule with or without a fine colored scale. All three lesions, vesicles, pustules, and macules, can be present simultaneously, including at birth. In post-term newborns, however, only macules may be present. Occasionally, satellite lesions may occur in proximity to a larger lesion, thus mimicking an infection. The rash can occur anywhere on the body, including the palms and soles, albeit less often. The diagnosis is usually made clinically via visual recognition of the rash. When in doubt, a gram stain can be performed on the contents of a lesion. With transient neonatal pustular melanosis, numerous neutrophils are present, but no bacteria. Likewise, culture would not grow a bacterial organism. No treatment is necessary. Spontaneous resolution of the pustular lesions usually occurs within a few days. The hyperpigmented macules, however, may persist for weeks to months before fading entirely.